Yo. So they don't want no one in California singing in the churches. Look, I'm not one of them. Uh, I don't, I'm not one of them guys that always talk about prophecy and and try to get people riled up. But I do believe. I do believe in the end times. And I do believe that we are we are closer to, to now to the end than we've ever been. Like every day we get closer. But that was a big reminder right there that look, man, this is real, and it. And it's exciting. We shouldn't, as Christians, be hearing this and be like, oh, no, it's going to get worse and get afraid. We should be like, oh, no, it's going to get worse and be joyful because God said this was going to happen. And it's just it's just the beginning. It's the birth pains, right? So what I mean by that, like, they're going to take these Bibles away, man, one day. Like, the seed is out there already. You know what I'm saying? That's why that, that video of Mark Lamont Hill talking to Candace Owens and him saying that, oh man, a man can have a baby and a man can get periods and things like that is and that's the mind state of today's young people. Or well, a lot of them, not all, but today's young people in the and and they cannot see that it's wrong. Like their eyes are blinded And that's preparing us for the day For the end times You know Because one day They look at that as progression right They look at that as Well who are you to say that A man should marry another man Or a woman marry another man Like who are you to hold them back Who are you to tell a woman She can't do To her body what she wants If she wants to Take what's inside out Meaning a baby That's her Opinion They don't see it's wrong And who are you to say that a man Can't decide that he wants to be a woman Even though He's born with male parts They don't see it wrong You know And Candace Owens made a, a good point She's like if a man is well, I'm paraphrasing but she said if a man is running around here Acting like he's Superman And he's like 40, 50 years old We wouldn't be like Oh yeah, you Superman You'll say that man had a mental problem But to them, this is progression, right? And one day They're gonna look at the Christians as Holding back progression And they're gonna start The process So where the Bible says This is the patience of the saints And that's why I said you better know your Bible. Because they're going to start taking these Bibles away. They're going to say that book right there is promoting hate. That book is promoting division. And to some point on a division, it's true. Because the Bible says that God, father and mother, daughter and mother, father and son will be separated over this book. You know what I'm saying? You either going to follow God or you're not. You're going to follow God You're going to follow the world But that's the seed It's been planted For the end times to come in They're already looking at us As holding back progression And when they start taking these Bibles And when they start banning them Which I've told one of my friends that And he's like Man, they can't do that It's the Constitution We, we Look, bro All that's out the window Oh, that's out the window when that time comes. It's going to be a new thing. But in their eyes, it's going to be to make peace. Because they're attacking the people that they think these are the ones that's holding us back from progressing. These Christians. And, and look, other religions might be wrapped up into that too. But you know what Satan's main enemy is. You know what I'm saying? Satan's main enemy is Jesus. He'd rather you worship anybody Except for Jesus But Yeah man Look at that and rejoice y'all Don't be discouraged Because If he told us This, this would happen If he told us That they were They're gonna start hating on y'all They're gonna start persecuting you And it's been going on It's just We so caught up in this easy America Where We look at persecution as 
somebody just being negative towards us. And I worry because that's the generation that we have and they soft because of that. Because they, they, they never, I'm talking about just, you know, Christians, they never really had no hard persecution. So what's gonna happen when the hard, like, like they do in Iraq and then when they do in Afghanistan and all when they start lining you up. But what comes with that is the separation of the real and the fake. You know? That's what happens. When persecution that bad comes. And look, you're not saved because you give your life for Christ. You saved because he gave your life for you. His life for you. You know what I'm saying? I heard I hear a lot of people think. That because I tell you what, Peter, even though Peter denied Christ, he was still saved. Because Peter knew he accepted, he accepted Christ. He just didn't. God humbled him. Look, it's if we have to depend on him to go along with that. He has to give the strength to do that. And I think it'll be an honor. It'll be an honor to die for the one who died and gave me life. I cannot tell you a better way to go out than dying for Christ. Like, and not because it will please him. It's, come on, man, he's our savior. You know, I just pray I'm strong enough in, them, in that day. And I believe that he will give me the strength in that day. But the thing is, we don't need that now. We need the strength for today. But I'm not so bold. To be getting out of pocket talking about, oh, nah, I'll never deny him. I'll never. See, that's what happened with Peter. Guys, like, can't work with a man like that, right? Can't work with a man. You gotta, you gotta have a broken spirit towards God. Knowing that if it's not for him, we have nothing. And in times like this, we have to depend on him for everything. For everything. Don't go into these battles with your own strength. These people will eat you up and chew you out. If you think you're going to fight them like you fight the world. This is a spiritual battle, y'all. Thing is, everybody thinks it's a physical one. Everybody. They think it's physical. They think it's racism. They think it's, oh, he don't like me. Oh, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Who's behind that person that don't like you? Who's behind that? There's someone behind that that's pushing that button. That's causing all that destruction. The prince and the power of the air. But you know what? There's someone above him. But see, all this is written already. All this is written and all this is planned out. We know the end of the book. We win. But we got to go through it. And I'm not saying this is definitely the end, because every time something crazy starts happening, everybody's like, this is it, this is it. Look, man, we don't know when, but we know these are the signs that must take place. These are the signs that must take place. And one day, and, and, and the thing is, where you want to be, which, like, when we get to heaven, and we're all sitting there, and we're surrounded by Peter, Paul, Abraham, David all these greats right in the Bible and they telling all these stories about how they suffered for Christ don't you want to say something you know what I'm saying wouldn't you want to be able to say something because you know what I'm saying this is, this is the only time we could do that this is the only time that we could suffer for Christ right here when we get to heaven suffering's over you either participated or you didn't. Now, you don't earn salvation by participating. But I'm going to tell you what. I don't want to be surrounded by all them guys. And I have nothing to say. Later.